Welcome rebuilders to the final chapter of the DX40 build. So far five and a half hours with another two in this video, plus post editing assembly worth about another hour, bringing the total up to 8.5. And it's back to my wife's least favorite place for me to assemble the computers, the kitchen table. All right, gonna start unbolting stuff and tightening things and getting other parts, putting them in, probably at high speed. Alright, so we have our pile of screws here, and the screwdriver, and this plate, and I believe we have everything we need. So, cue the accelerated video recording part. So there it is. Now instead of bringing all sorts of crap over here and messing up the table further, I'm just gonna go put it back and test it out there. It looks, looks pretty good. I'm, I wish this floppy drive was, was color matched, uh, but uh, yeah, it's not too bad. So I don't know about that gap there. It's, uh, CD-ROM is screwed into the standard holes. So maybe it's some early SCSI server, I don't know, different holes in it, I, I don't know, it's a uh, deal with it, I guess. Gotta go plug it in. And we are back at the most back-breaking location of my house. Uh, that is the floor. And with everything assembled, let's turn it on and see what you get. and every one of these devices. So I'm gonna need a floppy diskette, a CD-ROM, and a five and a fork. Card of 95. I don't, I don't think it'll work on this, but it's just to see if the uh, drive is still reading it. There it is. MS-DOS plus Enhanced Tools Disk 2. Not at all my handwriting. Not sure where that all came from. The drive. Yeah, that wasn't working before, and I had to actually pull it all apart and re-grease it. Well, you saw the video. Anyways, that's good. And the driver did actually... Uh, yeah, why not? Okay, sure. All right, everything seems to be working fine. Uh, we'll leave that in there for the Windows test. And what else was I gonna do? Let's do Windows. Oh, well you can't run it from the A drive. You can't put this in there. Benefit from a mouse pad and 
not my unvacuumed floor. <laughs> nice. I didn't download this at all. And there we have the soundtrack. So yeah, it's not too bad. 386 enhanced mode, 83% resources are free. Oh, right, uh, let's see if Windows will pick up the, uh, that's already in there, okay. Just to be on the, oops, this mouse pad is, I'm really missing it. Also displays all the drives up there, D, see it thinking there. Yeah. It's kind of cool, the uh, green light is always on, and then when it reads and writes, it switches to orange. Uh, same thing on this, uh, it does the same thing. This is a four speed unit, that is a 2.4. Right? It's like a very specific thing there. Speed rating, uh, in any case. That have done nothing out of the ordinary here. Uh, that's gonna obviously change when I acquire a set video card. System checking thing, it'll give you a summary of what's in here. CPU is an AMD DX, AMD, AMD AM 386 DX, 40 megahertz. And there it is again BIOS information. That's what, September 18th, 1990, version 1.15. Here's your IO list, keyboard and mouse. At, uh, as a sound blaster 1.0, 1.5. The IRQ list, we have uh, quite a bit of, okay, IRQ 11 is the one for the Adaptic SCSI. Two meg cache on this, wow. Anyways, uh, there are your partitions on there, driven by the the BIOS. We went through some of this already. All right, I'd say that's it. I'm gonna I'm gonna play with it a little bit more, and get started on another project. But for now, I'm gonna put this away, and clean it up a little bit. But that, uh, that's it for the ProTech, which is a sign that I've seen in and around the case and on certain components as well. The ProTech 386 DX40. So that wraps up part six and concludes the mini-series as a whole. So the background information on this build, uh, why I decided to record it, was to show what could happen in extreme situations. How much work does actually have to go into building one of these. Uh, mind you, most of my builds don't require all of this effort, so I decided to show what the worst case scenario would be. So what had happened is on eBay somebody had given me a lowball offer and I was like, nope, that doesn't work. Uh, then he became rude and irate, so I said, you know what, fine, just buy it and sure, I'll just, I'll just ship it to you for free. Uh, should not have done that because, you know, entitled buyer is entitled. Uh, complained to eBay, eBay eventually sided with me on this thing. Uh, however, it was not a very smooth ride, particularly since that dude went into all my other listings and, you know, buy it now, and I'm just like, oh, man, really? Come on now. So, just to explain to him that not maybe to him, but to, to, to the viewers out there, this is not a thing that I just pick up from somewhere and flip right away. It's just like a house, you gotta, or an old car, you gotta invest your time into it, uh, source old parts, like I mean, and I'm buying these at risk, like for example, this 386 motherboard doesn't actually work, it's incredibly corroded. Yeah, so I lost like, whatever, 10 bucks there. Uh, actually, the way that I build these parts is generally built around, or the computers are generally built around what hard drives I have available. 
So if I have, this is a 40 meg hard drive, sweet, let me see what I can get online uh, and build it around era correct parts for something that would have had a 40 meg hard drive, like a you know, powerful 286 or a low end 386. You know, the hard drive is 120 megs, okay, so mid range 386. 200 megs, low end 486, you know, and so on and so forth, because it's really rare that I actually get a hard drive with one of these computers, and it's even rarer that the hard drive works without any bad sectors uh, at all. So that, that's the build process there. So, so in the end, I spent about eight hours on this computer. That is not the norm. Usually it's about four or five. Uh, it doesn't require teardowns and repaints and, uh, you know, excessive. I mean, I retrobite most of my stuff, but, you know, it's, uh, some people just don't understand what really goes into one of these builds. Uh, having said that, this build is done. I have footage from last year. I said that, you know, here is the preview for 2018, and lo and behold, it's March of 2019. Uh, like, you know, that happened in a, in, a, in a flash. Why was there such a delay? Uh, well, my wife had a baby, and he got in the way of editing. So I'm still working on last year's materials, and once I get through them all, I'll devote all my energy to making more. All right, uh, considerable energy. Uh, right, whatever time I have left over, you know, this is my life now. So, with that said, uh, the conclusion of this season, I guess, we'll call it a, uh, yeah, okay, we'll call it a season. Uh, you know, I learned a lot about graphics presentation, uh, editing software, what kind of hardware I need to run to do these things. Like, I, I learned about modern things, not just going back to my old ways of, you know, assembling computers like I did 20 years ago. So, you know, how YouTube works itself, um, you know. So this is going to help me out to make a better Series 2, and hopefully that will create some interest, because right now I thank all my 14 subscribers. Uh, actually, the 8-bit guy who did have a phone call with me about another project, I asked him about how he does things. Long ways to go before that kind of stuff happens. And, uh, you know, Time constraints are what they are, so it is getting warmer, so maybe I'll finally put my project car back together? No? Well, alright. Have a good 2019.